Welcome back to the Weekly News Roundup. Today we're going to doing evil tech and a little bit of Sillyville. So join on in for some fun and fascinating uh, articles here. So first on to evil tech, meet Digit. Agility Robotics, the amazing biped that's going to carry uh, packages up steps around. So basically, it's just a package delivery robot. I kind of included this in Evil Tech because now we have headless robots that are walking up steps and other things like this, delivering um, packages and things in them. And I have to say it, guys, I'm sorry. We have a box. We have a box. What's in the box? <laughs> if you remember the reference for that one. So yeah, um, we're getting closer and closer to robotics uh, taking over the world. Of course, Tesla is already working very hard on uh, minimizing the population. They're just, you know, just just kind of taking people out one and two at a time. So this Tesla was on autopilot. Well, it may have been on autopilot, allegedly on autopilot. But this Tesla may have been on autopilot when uh, it uh, basically, I think the driver was probably asleep or whatever, not paying attention. The thing we have done going, they didn't have the white lines on the road, right? Because it was like construction or something. So the Tesla lost track of where it was and it decided to continue going 70 miles an hour, I think they said. Uh, through the, uh, yeah, 70 miles an hour off the off ramp, running through the red light, completely T-boning and totaling a poor little, uh, Honda Civic. I think they said completely killing two people on the scene. People, this is exactly why, exactly why. We don't need this type of auto smart driving tech in the cars. And for the love, I think that we should need to have government regulation to say, hey, Tesla, turn that autopilot crap off because too many people think it's complete self-driving and it's causing too many crashes and people are dying because they're not using this correctly. So yeah, this is a case where if the driver were actually paying attention, he probably would not have gone off the, the off ramp at 70 miles an hour and ran a red light. So definitely an interesting thing. The uh, NHTSA is investigating this crash, but yeah, Tesla Tesla takes off sh sh another couple off of there. Uh, very sad, very tragic. And I got to say that I, uh, Tesla needs to stop pushing this thing. They need to get this thing out of there. All right, so uh, Roomba, 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 the crazy vacuum Roomba. Now apparently it's going to grow arms in the future. Um, so we are going to eventually get to the point where we happen to have a Roomba going around. It gets to the one thing it can't seem to, to handle, the steps. So it will now grow some arms like a transformer and climb on up the steps. Anyone having pictures of that scene from those spiders in Minority Report coming in? You know, the Roombas are coming to get you. I mean, remember, they already have the lawn mowing Roombas as well. Those two guys could grow arms and legs and start running around, f knock over its victims, sit on top of it, turn a lawnmower, vroom, right on the face. I mean, come on. These robots are going to take over the world, people. What are we doing with these? But yeah, the Roomba robot's going to grow arms in the near future. They're working on a prototype of this. Basically, it's an idea to have the Roomba, you know, get around steps and things. Of course, the one engineer YouTuber already did this. We talked about this, was it last week, two weeks ago, where he made, basically made his Roomba a flying drone. So, you know, the Roomba would get to the bottom and you could fly the thing around up, you know, get fly the Roomba up the steps, land it back up the steps. I mean, that's kind of cool stuff, but you know, be careful. The Roomba's going to have some arms running around. So, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about the Roomba growing arms? Let's head on over to Sillyville. So, Me Too apparently is getting so bad and people are so soft-skinned anymore that scientists are now developing AI to detect harassment in emails. I, I think the first thing we need to do is tackle this, let's be decent human beings and not send bad emails. But when we now need AI to protect us and detect harassing emails, I think that this is kind of crazy. Um, kind of related news, Microsoft is working on an AI to determine if somebody is 
talking inappropriately with children on chat messages. Very interesting stuff. Um, I, I didn't uh, include it in the in the articles, but uh, definitely interesting stuff. Um, I think that that could possibly be a good thing if used in certain ways, but even still, I'm a little leery about it in that what if that thing triggers and then goes and tells some law enforcement to bust down somebody's door and find somebody else was using his IP address or something weird, you know, I don't know. It's, it's getting interesting. It's getting weird. Definitely worthy of having a conversation, but this artificial intelligence, uh, it's the me too bots after the high profile, you know, allegations. So, uh, the bots can monitor and flag communication between colleagues and are being introduced by companies around the world. Bot makers say it's not easy to teach computers what harassment looks like with linguistic subtleties and gray lines. So uh, the chief executive says, I wasn't aware of all the forms of harassment. I thought it was just talking dirty. It comes in many different ways. It might be 15 messages. It could be racy photos. Yeah. But now they're releasing this AI. So, of course, this is probably going to start to be, be uh, deployed on business servers. And then anything the thing thinks is fishy is going to be passed on to the HI, uh, HR department to start reviewing. And very interesting. Um, I, I'm on the fence about it. I, I, if I owned a company with multiple employees, I wouldn't be deploying it. We'll put it that way. But uh, what do you guys think? I don't know. I'm a little turry on that one. All right. No, the U.S. Army is not drafting you for World War III by text messages, young people. Hashtag WW3, right? So, yeah, um, and no, you're not going to go to jail if you don't respond. Wow. Like, I got to give it to scammers, man. Some of these guys are just brilliant. So, of course, the hashtag World War III has gone around. Everyone's like, oh, they're going to draft us all. And all these tech guys that, that do not realize that government agents aren't hip with the times. They will send you mail and things like this. You know, they send you official mail. It's all official. They're not going to be sending a text message to your phone saying, you've been drafted. you got to respond or you're going to jail. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so no, you're, no one's being drafted for world war three yet. And uh, if you receive a text saying you were drafted, the United States army wants you to know the message is fake fraud alert from the U S army. Um, so a number of fraudulent text messages informing individuals they've been selected for military draft have been circulated through the country this week. U S army recruiting command has received multiple calls and emails about these fake text messages and wants to ensure Americans understand the texts were false and not initiated by this command or the U S army. It's all orange man, bad's fault. Anyway, don't worry. The decision to enact a draft is not made by the U S army recruiting command, a selective service system, a separate agency outside of the department of defense is the organization that manages registration for selective service. Selective service is conducting business as usual. In the event that a national emergency necessitates a draft, Congress and President would need to pass official legislation to authorize a draft. All right, so just an FYI, no, they're not coming after you with text messages. So what do these texts say? Hello, we are contacting you in regards to the United States official Army draft. We tried contacting through your email service several times and had no response. You've been marked as eligible and must come to the nearest branch in the New Jersey area for immediate departure to Iran. Please contact us at the following number immediately. See, they shouldn't have blocked out those numbers. We, we need all of the internet trolls in 4chan to harass that number that they put in there because that's the scammer's number and that'll shut them down real fast. You think that the government has teeth? Oh no, 4chan's got teeth. All right, United States Army Referral Program asked for blank, extension blank, thank you. United States Army official draft, we tried contacting you through mail several times and have had no response. You've been marked eligible and must come to the nearest branch in Jacksonville, Florida area for immediate departure to Iran. Please contact us at the following number and respond to this message immediately. Um, yeah, we're aware that this number is not disconnected. You'll be fined and sent to jail for a minimum of six years if no reply. <laughs> Luckily, if you're of draft age, there's no need to worry about it just yet. Even if tensions are high among young people after U.S. forces killed Iranian general, text messages are fake. Congress and the president would need to approve a draft. Um, let's see. I was curious if anybody called that number to see what's there. I mean, 
I'll, I'll, maybe I'll check out online. I'm sure that somebody has gone on there and, and has already trolled these guys a few times. I'd love to see that. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and have a look at our last story. The AI kitty litter box will analyze your cat's poop for some reason. Hey, kitty, it's time for you. you Want to come over here and have your poop analyzed? Come on. Come get your poop analyzed. Come here. Come get your poop analyzed. The cats over there are like, dude, I don't want my poop analyzed. What are you talking about, man? I mean, the cats over here just just going, I mean, you got to see this cat. Hey, kitty, come get your poop analyzed. He's like, uh, no, I'm sticking right here, yo. I'm sticking right here. <laughs> all right. So uh, Lulu Pet says this device is all about the cat's health. So sometimes you read about the news, new gadgets and have FOMO because you're not there. And other times you read about the AI cat litter box. It's the world's first litter box with a built-in stool and urine image recognition to analyze a cat's <clears throat> deposits. Like I said, big tech has an obsession with scat this week. <laughs> All right. The goal of the Taiwan-based company Gadget is to help monitor a cat's health, to help your cat live a healthier life. If you have multiple cats, Lulu Pets device can determine which poop is from which cat because you don't want mittens taking credit for Fluffy's work. Uh. Here's how it works. The cat walks into the semi-enclosed litter box and then data is sent back to the app for the owner to monitor. Oh God, that's all I need. You're in your business meeting. Beep, 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 beep. Excuse me, sir. My cat is taking a dump. I have to monitor it on my phone real quick. Go, Fluffy, go. Go, Fluffy, go. Go, Fluffy, go, Fluffy, go, Fluffy, go. All right. Uh. Oh, joy. Oh, the smart litter box is Alexa and Google Home enabled. Hey, cat box. Order unicorn meat. Confirm. Yes, now I can order a unicorn meat from my cat box. The cat's over here going, dude, you've lost your ever-loving mind. What are you talking about? All right. <sighs> Boy, um... Uh, let's see, Alexa, Google, uh, the, what's the prompt there? Alexa, did Fluffy just drop a cookie <laughs> or did it weigh your cat in order to do so? Lulu pet founder says it will determine if the cat is too fat or needs more food or water. Lulu's pet is not the, uh, fat, the first smart cat litter box, not even the only one at CES, but the majority of the smart litter box is focused on automatic cleanup of the cat's deposits and resulting odor. Lulu's pet is aimed at helping to improve the cat's overall health. It has a built-in camera. Apparently you can watch live via a connected smartphone app, as well as infrared and weight sensors to determine whether the cat did a number one or a number two. The images from the event are compared with images of other cats' excrement in Lulu Pet's database to make sure all is normal. Yes, I just read that sentence. Excuse me, sir. We need to put our multi-million business contract on hold. I got to watch my cat take a dump. Go, Fluffy, go. All right, Fluffy's finished his business. You want to see? It's a big one. <laughs> I, I, we've gone to Sillyville. Check, please. One out of the human race. Um, my race of reptilian aliens is now taking applications. If you want to get out of this mess, let me know. I will help get you out of this mess. We're taking a few more alien converts. It's going to be fun. We're going to go up on big spaceships and we're going to watch the world blow up as Fluffy and Mittens are doing their business on everybody's cell phones. Just, I mean, that's what's going to happen. Let me know your thoughts to this story and the other stories in the comments down below.